Well, we're still screwing around on the California side. Yes, we are. Which is to say, over in Grand Junction. Mm -hmm. And we went out to see, while we were there, an amazing HO Railroad. Oh, Tom Holly. Mm -hmm. Yes. And oh. Yes. What a cool railroad. Very detailed. Huge, huge, huge. Of course, he's into operation people who are mm -hmm. into big, big, big railroads. He's usually into operation, right. and he is. But check this out. You'll mm -hmm. be quite amazed. Nice. Tom Hall's H.O. Railroad. Tom Hawley's been building model railroads since he was just a little kid. Wow, how, how old? <laughs> oh, gee, I think he said nine. Nine? This, this time he's built himself a monster. Oh, Look at the Look size at, of this I'm thing. No kidding. I think he said the building is... Uh, what was what? it? Uh, th 30, 30 by 50. 50 30 yes. by 50 feet. The railroad seems to run really well. Well, we were there most of the day mm -hmm. and not one derailment no. with all these huge, massive trains running around. Right. Amazing. No kidding. He and a group of friends have built this thing and they get together and operate it all the time, too. <laughs> Sounds like a lot of fun. I think they call this wedding cake bench work. Yeah, it looks kind of like a wedding cake. It sort of stacks up on different levels. In this case, it's really clever because when you're inside, you're unaware of the fact that there's a whole railroad going on on the outside. So as big as this is, it seems bigger than it actually is. Hmm, utilizes every square inch of space. Here we can see Adam building up a string of locomotives to haul one of these really long trains that Tom prefers to run on this railroad. And boy, are they long. She's like 50, 60 cars. It depends how long the cars are. Right. He's got 30 super, super detailed locomotives that he can call out and 800 pieces of rolling stock. Wow. So they can put together a lot of really long trains. And typically when they're operating, they'll have four of these long trains on mm -hmm. the main line with train meets and the whole thing going on. Wow. They also have a small amount of operations going on in the local yards and that mm -hmm. sort of thing. And they have a working hump yard <laughs> in the Grand Junction area. That's fun. So then they'll have someone operating that too. Oh, fun. Now the rules on the railroad are that you can only have 30 powered axles at the head end of the train, but you can cut helper engines in at mid-train or at the back. It seems that any more than 30 powered axles and they blow a circuit breaker. Oh, I guess anybody would. The power on this is strictly from old school. He doesn't use any digital command control DCC or sound systems. It's straight direct current feeding directly to the track, which has been cut into blocks and is powered by nine, count them, nine different throttle cabs. Wow. Because they love to run these really, really long trains, and like this, this unit coal train that we see here, which is uh, 60 cars, as I 60. recall. 60. Wow. But because it's an island, you know, peninsula-style railroad, what that means is that trains are quite often passing themselves all the time. <laughs> you know, seeing a 60-car train in the real world, that's no big deal. You see that all the time. But to see 60 cars on an HO layout like this, well, now that's not something you see every no, day. No, it's not. <laughs> The main line is 475 feet long and double track, so that's how they're able to run these really long trains. They have an awful lot of main line. The total track together with all of the sidings, branch lines, and yards and so on is approaching 5,000 feet now. 5,000 feet. He will have well over 5,000 feet when he gets the rest mm. of the track laid. Gee, that's that's approaching a mile. Uh, yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. There are two hidden yards underneath the bench work uh, that can hold these unit trains without mm -hmm. taking them apart. The, uh, the hidden yards hold 200 cars, and you're not even aware they're down there. They're hidden wow. under the bench work. The grades on the railroad are 2.5% in the mm -hmm. steepest areas, and what that means is with these big, long, heavy trains, you know, a driver slip is a real problem, yeah. and, and it's not like the Sanders work. No. But you hear the, the drivers slipping all the yes. time when they're pulling these big trains right. up steep hills. In fact, without helper engines, well, they just wouldn't go anywhere. No. So all of these trains have helper engines cut in mid-train mm -hmm. or at the back. Mm, realistic. 
And Tom likes to put extra weight in the cars. They're all running three times NMRA standards, mm. which makes moving big trains like this around even more problematic. But the performance is so much better with the heavy weight. It is. Because of the steep grades, the, the trains climb up and up. The highest part of the track is six feet off the floor. Oh, wow. This area up here, you're six feet up. Now the floor raises up here too. As you're moving your train around, slowly you're walking up ramps. Right. So you're standing two feet up off the ground right. as well. And your trains are six feet off the ground. All of the couplers are KD steel couplers. Any plastic couplers will just pop under these no loads. Kidding. There's no way they can handle it. There's a lot of fun little details around, figures and little <laughs> scenes, uh, some of which have been built by his friends. This uh, cattle yard here, this, this little cattle pen, was built by someone yes. and then they died and, well, he just sort of inherited it and his friends <laughs> brought it over and installed it on the railroad. I love but it. But that is a spectacular cattle pen. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. That's a beautiful cattle pen. Yeah. Okay, now here's a fun train. This is 60 cars of steel coils, coiled steel. The steel coils were made by cutting lengths of very thick walled pipe into these little donuts and then wrapping that to look like steel coils. Now what that means is there's nine feet of very heavy walled pipe loaded onto this train meaning that this train weighs uh, about 35 pounds. Try moving that without helper engines up a 3% grade. This does raise the rather interesting question of how accurately scaled is the weight of a train like this? Since it's the actual steel that the steel coils would represent, shouldn't it be about the correct weight? Well, as a matter of fact, it is. A loaded car like this will weigh in at around 300,000 pounds. Now, there are those out there who would say, well, 300,000 pounds divided by the scale of 187th, shouldn't these cars weigh in at around 3,400 pounds apiece? Well, no, because we're talking about mass, so you have to cube the scale, the weight divided by the scale divided by the scale divided by the scale meaning that the proper weight for a car like this is 0.45 pounds, and that's just about what these weigh in at. It also means that a 60-car train of them is a significant amount of weight. Of course, most of the trains weigh a significant amount less than that, but at three times NMRA standards, they are all nevertheless quite heavy and quite a lot of work for these locomotives to haul around this railroad. There are working crossings around the railroad, but as of now, there is no signaling. But Tom has plans to put signaling on the entire line. That's probably his next big project is to add signaling. And I know he's been talking to some people about helping with that. It's actually a pretty complicated piece of business. <laughs> I, I'm still trying to figure out how signals work on the real railroad. It's like... <laughs> I don't know, flashing red over lunar, and I'm yes. supposed to figure that out. I mean, I know what a moon is, but, <laughs> well, but I don't, I don't really understand how signaling works, and I certainly uh, don't understand how model signaling uh, works. No kidding. But at any rate, that's the next big thing to be installed here is going to be signaling. And, of course, scenery is an ongoing oh, project my. on every railroad. No so kidding. I love the Whenever trees. the time allows, then Tom adds some trees mm -hmm. and grass and so on. Tom has a model shop inside the house. He does the modeling in here rather than out in the railroad building. I was sure impressed with the amount of locomotives he has. My goodness. And so detailed. Just really does a bang-up job. He's got a whole little machine shop and paint mm, booth here. Looks like fun. Looks like Tom has a long line of railroaders in his family. Check out these cool pictures. And of course, no railroad would be complete without structures. Oh, those are so cool. Look at that. There's all kinds of really nice industrial structures, nice bridges bridge. around. And Tom's built <gasps> these little scenes yeah. of... Oh things going gosh. on generally with figures people uh -huh. and these little scenes all oh. over the place this camping scene is really cool yeah. 
Well, speaking of moons... <laughs> yeah. yeah, there we go. <laughs> For some reason, there's a long tradition of people mooning the trains when they come I by. So. I don't know why. <laughs> and here we have the hunters being hunted. That's the other bear. Kind of fun. <laughs> Different kind of bear here. <laughs> But all kinds of wildlife around mm-hmm. the railroad and oh, just yes. hundreds and hundreds of figures. Yes. All these figures and little scenes really help bring the whole thing to life. The trains mm-hmm. are the are the stars, but a lot of supporting cast here. Look at that. You can see them wiggling their ears. <laughs> and here we have a barbecue going on on a steeple cab. <laughs> That is a tasty 200-ton wrecking crane. Oh, this was my favorite. And and there are choppers all over the place. Uh-huh. Tom must like choppers because uh-huh. they're everywhere you look. Yes. Oh, that's mine. And Adam was really thrilled to see one of his cars on Tom's Railroad. Uh, Adam sells this line of cars. They're 3D printed, mm-hmm. and they're available in HO and N scale. But... Here's one of Adam's cars that Tom bought as a kit and put together. How cool is that? Very. Oh, and as I mentioned, there's a working hump yard here in Mm. Grand Junction. And there's a lot of industrial buildings around here. There are. Look at the loading docks with the semis. Yeah, well, you know, it gives the railroad purpose. Yes. And if you're going to be doing local switching, you have to have this sort of thing so that you have some place to set cars out and pick cars up. Look at this neat logging area. That is really I cool. Could, I could literally smell the sawdust. <laughs> I could just, too, yeah. It looks so real. It's right. a great little logging area. Mm-hmm. And this scrap yard Look is at that. really cool. Yes. There's a lot of fun little esoteric things. And the <laughs> names on the businesses. Oh, uh, there you go. A lot of them are referenced from TV shows or movies or just Names of his friends, all kinds of different mm-hmm. things in these industrial areas. Wow. Just really, really fun. Mm-hmm. Now, this is awesome. This is a kit offered by Kitchy. It's a 120 ton industrial works wrecking crane. Mm, like that one. Like this one that we saw at Ely. Exact same unit. Wow. And I, for one, fell in love with it at mm-hmm. Ely. It's cool. And the model is just dead on. Yes, I want to bag one is. of these. I looked it up. It sells for only 28 oh. bucks. <laughs> now, in the area of just plain screwing around. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? <laughs> I, I don't know what it is, but oh, I like it. I want it. Uh, you could say it's a half of an F unit or something like it's that. It's stinking cute. It's stinking cute. It's very <laughs> egocentric. It looks like a string of eggs. Oh, it's like I want I love it. Oh, I want I'm ready it. to build one yeah, right now. Here we go. Well, I wasn't really anticipating finding such a huge railroad in Grand Junction. Neither was I. But here it is. Adam heard about this and made some phone calls and <sighs> set this up, and here we are. Here we are. Wow. I was just flabbergasted. Me Didn't too. know about this railroad, mm-hmm. had never heard about this railroad, and I think a lot of people have never heard no. about this railroad. And yet it's one of the largest railroads I've ever seen. Right, it's beautiful. And it's just at this guy's house. Yeah. It's in its own dedicated That's building right. out behind <laughs> the house. But it's just absolutely it's wonderful. massive. Yeah. Well, Tom, you done good. Yes. <laughs> Tom Holly's amazing HO Railroad. We're just talking to the conductor. Oh, this is Adam, our conductor. He's busy informing people of all kinds of conductor things. Perfect. Excellent job. We're on time. Yay. Excellent. Thank you. He is a great conductor of yes, trains. Of trains. I don't know if he can conduct music. Absolutely. Anybody can. Yeah. I won't say it sounds good. I can conduct. Well, anyway, that was Tom's Railroad. We hope you enjoyed Tom's Railroad. We sure enjoyed Tom's Railroad. It's an amazing I love it. Amazing railroad. Huge and just beautifully Uh, well done and runs so smooth. We messed around there all day running trains in and out, switching around. Not one wheel hit the ground. No. No. And that's pretty amazing, especially when you consider that some of those trains were 60 cars long. Most of them. We're like 60 cars and, and, and loaded we're with backing uh, them up, we're stuff. doing, yeah. yeah, and nothing, not one wheel hit the Perfectly. ground all day long. Right. What a beautiful, beautiful day. Mm-hmm. So if you liked the movie, do give it a thumbs up Absolutely. and share it with your friends.
Mm -hmm. Now, if you haven't been over to the channel to scope out the other 95, I think it is. Is it 95? Wow. 195. 195. 195 yeah. Wow. That are over there on Soon the 200. That's Soon how, 200. That's how I remember. Holy cow. Mm -hmm. So we'll have a big party and celebration and you're invited. Yes. But if you haven't been over to the channel, and worst case scenario, if you're not a subscriber. Oh, you got to subscribe. You want to subscribe. And it doesn't cost anything uh, to subscribe. It's just no. a cool way that you get notified whenever we upload. Right. So pop on over to the channel and become a subscriber, both of which are done by clicking on the blue button. Zoink. Mm -hmm. See it right here, this blue button? Mm -hmm. Kind of matches our shirts. Mm -hmm. Blue button. Mm -hmm. it says subscribe. Means exactly what it says. <laughs> Makes you a subscriber. Yes. Well, we're not sure how you found this movie on the internet. We hope you didn't find it boring. Mm -hmm. And we will see you here again next week with some more massive screwing around. See you then. Bye-bye. <laughs>